Hello everybody, we are going to start unit number 7, matter and energy. We are going to deal with composition of matter, separation of mixtures, physical changes, chemical changes and forms of energy. Composition of matter. Matter is made up of one or more substances which in turn consist of tiny particles called atoms. Pure substances contain only one type of component which cannot be separated into other substances, for example water or salt. Mixtures contain two or more pure substances. For example, rocks are made up of two or more minerals. Types of mixtures Heterogeneous mixtures In these mixtures, the different components can be distinguished. Homogeneous mixtures or solutions In these mixtures, the different components cannot be distinguished. Separation of mixtures Filtration is used to separate solids from liquids or solids with different sized particles. Evaporation is used to separate solids from liquids in homogeneous mixtures. Distillation is used to separate liquids that have different boiling points in homogeneous mixtures and decantation is used to separate substances at different density in heterogeneous mixtures. Physical changes. Matter exists in three different states, solid, liquid and gaseous. Heating or cooling can cause changes of state. Heating. Melting happens when a solid turns into a liquid. Vaporization occurs when a liquid turns into a gas. Evaporation or boiling. And sublimation happens when a solid turns into a gas. And cooling. Condensation happens when a gas turns into a liquid, solidification occurs when a liquid turns into a solid, and reverse sublimation happens when a gas turns into a solid. Here you are a drawing with the changes in matter, where you can see red arrows when heating or cold arrows when cooling. Melting and boiling points. Every substance changes from a solid to a liquid at a fixed temperature. This temperature is known as the melting point. Every substance changes from liquid to a gas at a fixed temperature. This temperature is known as the boiling point. Here you are a chart with the melting and boiling points of water and mercury. Chemical changes. Chemical changes happen when the original matter transforms into other new substances. These changes involve chemical reactions in which atoms react and group together differently. Chemical reactions usually involve the production of gas, light or heat, and or a color change. They cannot be reversed. Types of chemical reactions. Oxidation happens when some metal substances such as iron combine with oxygen in the presence of water. Combustion happens when objects or substances are burned. It needs oxygen and produces carbon dioxide. Fermentation is a chemical reaction that happens in some living things, such as yeast and bacteria. Yogurt, wine and bread are some examples. Forms of energy. Mechanical energy. All objects have mechanical energy. This is the energy of an object due to its movement called kinetic energy or its position called potential energy. The chemical energy is stored in food, fuel and batteries. During chemical reaction, this energy is converted into other forms of energy. And electrical energy is produced by the movement of charged particles. Light energy. Light energy comes from light sources such as the sun or light bulbs. Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is stored in some substances known as nuclear fuels such as uranium or plutonium. And thermal energy, which is the energy in an object related to its temperature. The higher the temperature of an object, the greater the thermal energy. And this is the end of the lesson, students. I know there is a lot of information in this unit, but don't worry. We are going to do a lot of activities in class. Bye-bye.